In this video, we are going to see different CSS filters. What is a CSS filters? We can use CSS filters to apply great visual effects on our images, videos, etc. If used properly, you can even create Photoshop-like effects using these CSS filters. We are going to see 10 different CSS filters and we will have a look at each of these filters and see how an image can be changed or edited using these filters. It is very simple to use these CSS filters. You just need to specify filter that is the name of the CSS property and we have to specify whatever filter we need to apply whether it is blur, hue rotate, drop shadow, saturate, contrast, grayscale, sepia, invert, opacity or brightness. So first we need to have some images to edit. So I have created a basic HTML5 document. Let me change the title to image editor. Next what we need? We need to have one or two images to see how it works. So let me add an image here img src equals I have downloaded the image of some flowers. So flowers dot jpg I am closing it. Okay now let's see how it appears. This is the image I have downloaded. We can keep this image on this right hand side again so that we will be able to see the difference clearly. Otherwise we will not see the original image. We will be getting only the changed image or the edited image. So let's copy this once again. Let me add a break. And then the same thing I am copying here. Okay. Let me try to display them horizontally. So I am going to add style and img and I need to float it on the left side. So I think we will get it horizontally. Let us check it. Refresh. Okay, we are getting it vertically. Okay, the width is too much I think. Let me change the width of this images to say 30%. Okay. Now we are getting it horizontally. Now let me add one more image. That is I have downloaded a couple of color pencils image. So let it be imgsrc equals its name is pencils dot it is a jpeg file. So jpeg I am again copying it. Now we will get two sets of images. Oh, it is somewhat smaller. Let me increase this to 40%. Refresh. Okay. Now what we are going to do is we will keep this original images as such and we will edit these two images so that we can see the difference clearly. So for that, let me add a class name here for this second images. So here let the class name be class equals to change because we are going to change it or edit it. Here also the second image I am going to change. So to change. Okay. Now we have the images. Next it is simple to use these CSS filters. We just have to access the element and apply the filter. So we need to edit the images with class name to change. So how will we access those images using dot to change. Why I have put a dot? Because we are accessing it using its class name. If we have been accessing it using its id instead of dot there should be a hash. So to change. Next filter that is a name of the property and first let us try to do the blur effect. Blur effect will blur the image. So we need to specify radius 
it should be in pixels so what i have to specify here blur and here let it be 5 px that is 5 pixels and here as i am going to try this on my google chrome we need to append web kit here that is we need to append this specifically to our browser here i am using google chrome so i have added web kit filter let me save this and refresh this see the image is blurred it is blurred to 5 px suppose i change this value to 10 px and let us see how it appears now it will be more blur so as this value increases the blur effect will also be increasing suppose i just specify 2 what will happen it will be less blurred it is slightly blurred now here it is very clear and these two images are slightly blurred next let us try to apply the second effect that is hue rotate the value is in angle so it should be between 0 to 360 so i am going to change this to hue rotate and let me change the value to say 90 degrees it can have value between 0 and 360 i have just changed it to 90 degrees refresh we are not able to see much difference let me change okay here we need to have a t and let us see how it appears see the image is totally different now isn't it here it is in pink color and here it is in brown color and the image of the pencil is also changing here it is blue here it is purple here it is red here it is green and suppose i change this value to 270 degrees or 250 degrees what will be the effect refresh see it is again changing isn't it beautiful we are now creating photoshop like effects just using css3 that is using css filters now next is the drop shadow it is exactly the same as box shadow suppose i apply drop shadow and let me set some values 5px minus 5px then 10px then let me set some color red let us see how it appears see you could see some border like effects or some shadow like effect just below the image okay then the next one is saturate it can have value over 100 percent actually so let us try to apply say 75 percent saturate 75 percent let us see how the images now appear refresh see it is slightly different in color isn't it let me increase this to say 150 and see the effect see now it has become darker and these colors also became darker and next let us try to apply contrast contrast and let me save refresh it is not getting the effect let me change this to 70 refresh see the contrast effect is changing the contrast of the image next we have gray scale it will just convert the color in our image to a shade of gray so let me apply 70 percent the value is gray scale so gray scale and 70 percent instead of percent you can even specify it as 0.7 also 0.7 both are the same save refresh see a gray shade is added to the image suppose i change this value to 9 what will be the effect it will be more gray in color okay next we can try sepia it will give the appearance of some old photographs that is black and white like 
effect. Let us see how it appears. Sepia. It can have value between 0 and 1 or 0% and 100%. So, this effect is sepia. Refresh. See, it's getting some yellowish shade. And if I change this value to say 0.3, refresh. See, the effect is different. Like this, we can apply each and every one invert. Let us next try invert, file, save, refresh, see, the effect is different. We can apply each of these styles, CSS filters. Now the happy thing is that we can actually apply two or three or more CSS filters together. That is, suppose I want to add this style as well, hue rotate as well. Hue rotate let me make it 95 deg so what will now happen it will first apply this filter that is invert 0.3 and then it will rotate this to 95 deg refresh see it is now a different effect suppose i change this order i am making this after this one and saving this so now we are applying the same effects but in different order. See this is the image now. Let me refresh. You are getting a slightly different output. Suppose I change this to 4 or 7 and see. See we are getting something different. So like this we can try a number of combinations of these effects. Not only individually, but also as a combination of different effects. So like this, we have done this on an image. We can actually do it on videos also. So we can apply really wonderful visual effects just using CSS3. We haven't used Photoshop in this tutorial. We have just used CSS3 to create wonderful visual effects. Next, we are going to create an online image editor using these CSS filters in another video.